Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Scheib and today we are back with Lynn Blankenship. She's Family and Consumer Sciences Agent in Metcalf County. Today we're talking about sustainable fashion. The other side of the coin. Yes, Lynn, what <laughs> is sustainable fashion? Okay, so if you remember yesterday, I uh, you had asked me at the end, um, how can we do better? And I said mm -hmm. natural fibers yes. is one thing. That's the one thing you can try to make choices with more higher content of natural fibers, cotton, wool, silk, etc. Um, so that's one thing you can do, but keeping in mind that 13 million tons of clothing go into landfills each mm -hmm. year. So another thing that we can do is not throw things away when we're done with them. Okay. Um, when you do buy natural fiber clothing, um, it may be a little bit more expensive on the front end. It lasts a lot longer. And then when you no longer want to wear it, whether you've grown out of it or it's gotten too big for you or you're just done with it, right. you can then consign it or donate it or give mm -hmm. it away to someone else, a friend, family member, and then they then they can love it yes. for a while and use it for a while um, instead of just tossing it into a landfill. Yes, and you mentioned that when we buy those fast fashion pieces, we do throw them away sometimes because of the quality. The quality. The quality is not good. They're really only made to last for seven to ten wears. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's crazy. It's almost like a Halloween costume, right? Yeah. I mean, you think about those little costumes we got when we were growing up as kids, mm -hmm. and they were just really thin nylon or, or polyester, you know? Yeah. And maybe you wore it for a year, and then your little brother wore it the next year, or your sister, you know? And then it was falling apart. And I definitely have been victim to... Um, Fast fashion, Lynn. Everyone, so, everyone. We it's all, it, it's our society today. It leaked into our, our uh, thought, but some of the larger clothing manufacturers, uh, companies, this is a pair that I thrifted. Okay. I bought them at a thrift store about six months ago, and I noticed when I was checking the tags for laundry, it says in it, care for our planet, wash less, wash cold, line dry, and donate or recycle. Wow. And and so I thought that was really awesome that some of our larger companies that manufacture clothing um, that are really big in the United States are really trying to get that message out to the consumer mm -hmm. on the piece of clothing, mm -hmm. you know, which is, I think, a good step in the right direction to really think about the impact of not just how our clothes are made, where they're come from, what they're made out of, but how we launder them. Because when you wash things in cold, and if you can dry them on a line or hang them up and dry them on a rack, they're gonna last a lot mm. longer, a lot longer. Throwing things in the dryer is, it, it just look at how much lint comes mm -hmm. off the clothing in the lint trap, right? Mm -hmm. So that's wearing down that clothing every time right. you throw it in the dryer. So doing those things, uh, you're, you're making less carbon emissions when mm -hmm. you're not running your dryer. So mm -hmm. your clothes are lasting longer, you're not putting as much carbon out in the care of the clothing. Mm -hmm. Those are all things to think about. But you and I both kind of like thrifting. One of my favorite things about thrifting is um, that it, the clothes are already worn, they're, they're softer, they're so comfortable. They're not going to shrink. They're, they're not, not going to shrink. shrink. Yes, and obviously the price point, but when you go, you, you know how they're going to fit your body. What about you, Lynn? I love being able to go to a thrift store and try on like 12 different brand names of jeans all at once. Mm -hmm. And then I don't care about the brand name. I care right. about the fit and how they feel. And so I just try them all on. I look in the mirror and I'm like, this pair fits the best and it feels the best and I'm going to get this pair. Yeah. You can't do that at any other store. And you and can't do it when you buy online. No. And, and I was just telling you that I have recently been noticing that I have been reaching more for the pieces that I have purchased from sustainable fashion, more than the pieces that I've purchased from the yeah. fast fashion, yes. And I think part of that is, is because I have been there in person, I've got to try them on, yes. and there's many benefits um, to not having to take the time to go to a store, but I think that it's catching up with me. And are there local businesses that support sustainable fashion? There's tons. One of the big box uh, chain stores that you can donate to. There's several in Bowling Green. Yes. They are all not-for-profits, and if you donate clothing, you can get a tax exemption mm -hmm. for that donation. Or you can take them to one of the several locally owned thrift stores that you have in Bowling Green. They're fantastic. Yes. You can look them up online. Um, a lot of them have Facebook pages, mm -hmm. and, and um, so that's, that's how you can what you can do. Thank you for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show and we'll see you next time.